This is the children's Sunday school lesson for July the 17th in the year 2022. It's called the Good Shepherd. The memory verse is, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Let's pray. Dear Father, help us to understand what it is that Jesus did for us because of his great love for us. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to show you three different parts in scripture today. It comes in Luke, it comes in John, and it comes in Matthew. All three times Jesus talks about a shepherd and a sheep. One of the things that he says is that um, if a man is a shepherd and he has a hundred sheep and one of those sheep gets lost, he goes and he looks for the sheep until he finds the sheep. And then when he finds it, he puts it on his shoulders, he brings it back, and he says to his friends, Let's have a party! My sheep that was lost is found! Isn't this wonderful? My sheep is back! And he leaves the 99 sheep to go find the one that's lost. That's how much love Jesus has for us. That he has lots and lots of people that belong to him. But he goes out and finds the one that got lost and pulls them back into him. That's what we're supposed to be like too. Who do you know that used to come and now they're lost? We can't find them anymore. What can you do to go and find them? And the next thing Jesus said was, he said, this is how it is. He says, there's a sheep, a sheepfold. And in the sheepfold, it's like, uh, let's say a rectangle. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. All built up with rocks, like almost like a cage, okay? Out in the country, someplace far away from home. And when it comes bedtime, the shepherd brings the sheep and puts it in the sheepfold. And then one shepherd lays across the Across the entrance to make sure that no sheep leave and so that no animals come in to destroy the sheep. And that person that lays across there is called the gate. And Jesus said, I am the gate for the sheep. And anybody else who comes into the sheep fence, the fence, the, the, the structure is just coming to steal, kill, and destroy. But I am coming to protect my sheep. If a hired man were to lay there and a robber would come, he'd just run away. But these are my sheep and I am the good shepherd and I lay down my life for my sheep. No one forces me to give up my life. I lay it down on my own because I love my sheep. That's how much Jesus loves you. He loves you so much that he laid down on the cross to die for you because of his great love for you. It's a lot, isn't it? He also said that, um, oh, that the sheep hear his voice. Can you do voice with me? The sheep hear his voice and will follow him. So when the shepherd comes to the, to the enclosure where the sheep are in the morning, there might be sheep in there from two or three different shepherds. But when I, as the shepherd, would come to the gate, I would say, Hey, Molly, Moo, Mo, Moo, so, see, Susie, Timmy, whatever your name is, come on. And those sheep who belong to me will wake up and will follow my voice and go to where there's good pasture. They won't follow the voice of another shepherd because they don't know that voice. Jesus knows our name and we hear his voice and we know him. That's how we know to follow him. Um, that might be all, let me think. I think it's all. Dear Father God, 
Help us to realize what a great sacrifice you made when you laid down your life for your sheep. Thank you for choosing us to be your sheep. Help us, O oh Lord, to be faithful in um, looking for lost sheep and bringing them back into your fold. In Jesus' name, amen.